All right, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to do three pretty quick examples. I'm going to show you how to find elevations um, of sloped lines of grades uh, rather quickly. All right, so in this first example, and I'm going to have three of them in this video, um, is this. There's a line here. There's points P and Q, and P uh, is at station... So I'm going to write the stations here. This is station 25 plus 18.07. All right, and this is at station 27 plus 13.01. All right, so x is the distance, the horizontal distance between these two points. So in order to find this, all I would have to do is subtract 27 plus 13.01 minus 25 plus 18.07. That would give me the distance x. Now to make this a little bit easier, I'm going to do this whole thing in stations. The reason being is I can leave the grade in percent if I'm doing my grade calculations in stations. If it was in lengths, I would have to change this grade from negative 2% to negative 0.02%. Alright, so if I subtracted or if I found the difference between these two points horizontally in stations, then x would be one point, roughly 1.95. And this is in stations. Okay, so there's 1.95 stations between points P and Q. All right. And when we find grade, remember our our calculation or our equation is grade is equal to the change in elevation over the distance. And if we go left to right, our final uh, elevation would be point Q. So elevation of Q minus elevation of P divided by the change in, or just the distance, right? Or the change in distance. Now, point P is at an elevation of 245.03, okay? And our question, or what we want to find out in this problem, is what is the elevation of point Q? Okay, so mathematically, if we solve this equation uh, for elevation Q, so if we multiply by x on both sides, we get elevation of Q minus elevation of P. And then if we added elevation P to both sides, we'd get uh, elevation P is equal to elevation, or elevation P plus GX is equal to elevation Q. Okay, so this is the formula we're going to use to solve this problem. <clears throat> this is saying the elevation at point Q is the elevation of P plus the grade times X. Okay? So if we plug this in, if we plugged in uh, 245.03 feet, this is supposed to be in feet, plus the grade, and remember this is in station so we can leave it as the percent, negative 2 percent, or let's just take away the percent, times x, 1.95 stations, we're going to get um, an answer of 241.13. Our elevation of Q is equal to 241.13 feet. All right, so that's a, it's not, a, well, I, I derived the quick way to figure out what the elevations are given uh, certain values such as grade and at least one elevation and the distance. All right, so let's move on to the second example. It's going to be pretty quick. Here we have a line. It's at, uh, the grade is 1.5%. First elevation is 600, and we want to figure out what this uh, elevation is at this point with the question mark. Our station is 2400, or 24 plus 00, 27 plus 00, and so the distance is three stations. So all I can simply do here is take 600, oops, 600.00 feet and add GX to it, right? And our GX, well, it's 600 plus G is 1.5.
x is in station, so it's 3. So if I added 1.5 times 3 to 600, I would get the elevation of this point. All right, just elevation plus gx. If we go left to right, right? Right. So 600 plus 1.5 times 3 is 604.5 feet. Simple, right? So then finally, our last example, uh, we have elevation 705, grade of negative 4%. We want to figure out what this elevation is. We have stations 23 plus 00, zero and 26 plus 00. zero. So the difference in stations, this distance, is 26 minus 23. That's three stations. Right? Stations. So we can take our elevation starting from the left side of the line, add gx to it. And our g is negative 4%, and our x is 3 stations, right? So if I did 705.00 plus negative 4 times 3 stations, uh, that would give me 693.00. That's the elevation of these points. So hopefully these three quick examples... Uh, it showed you a, a quicker way to find elevations given a certain distance and some grades. All right.